The last time these two teams met, 1991, on the old artificial turf at the old Cardinal Stadium. Today, EKU and Louisville getting together for the 26th time. The last 1AA team to knock off the cards. You guessed it, EKU, back in 1985. Louisville leading 9-0 when Adam Froman throws long for Doug Beaumont. And the Louisville native catching his first career touchdown pass, a 42-yard connection, 16-0 Cardinals. Colonels held scoreless in the first half, now down 23-0, EKU strikes with defense. Froman is picked off by Jeremy Caldwell at the EKU 20. Tay-Tay, as they call him down in Richmond, tiptoes along the sideline, but stays in bounds, returning the INT 80 yards, 23-7 Louisville. You throw it his direction, and you better be on the edge of your seat. You might, you might miss something. You know, next week we'll get him involved back in the return game. I didn't want him to put too much on his plate. He practiced this week. I didn't want him to do defense and, and return kicks, and next week we'll get him rocking and rolling on, on return kicks for us. Come on, TV. The Colonels threatening again late. Matt Denham takes the handoff and breaks it down the sideline, 41 yards. He steps out at the six. Easter would punch it in from there, but the Colonels get no closer. Great effort, but EKU falls 23-13. Yeah, I mean, I, I felt good as far as the kids, you know, never, never giving up. You know, it, it looked like, you know, there for a minute they could have knocked us out. We had a run going in the second half. I mean, we just, coach came in, we had a little talk. Defense, like, come together. So, I mean, the more we uh, execute, the better we can do. We just kept, just kept hurting ourselves. With the, we had holding penalties or maybe a drop ball or somebody wasn't running the right route or something. It just, we just kill, we're killing ourselves. That's what's, that's what's hurting us, and that's what's hurting our defense because they have to be out there after three plays or something like that. So that's what's, that's what's killing us right now.